Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at the whole evolution of Team Vitaline Racers. James Clean Air, Brick Yardley, and Chase Race Lot. <clears throat> now before I get right into the review, let me explain something. So, <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there has been an evolution of Team Vitaline Racers, but with several number changes from 61 to 24. So, the first, I mean, the first racer created for the first Cars movie was James Clean Air. And he bore the number 61 from 1985 to till 2006. Then in 2007, he was replaced by Brick Yardley, who up until 2016, before the Los Angeles International Speedway race, the Los Angeles 500 of 2016, when he was fired by his sponsor's owner in favor of a next-gen racer named Chase Racelot, which both of them shares the same number as Jeff Gorvet, and Coincidentally, Chase Racelot's voice actor, Chase Elliott, replaced Jeff Gordon in the number 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports after Jeff Gordon stepped down as full-time driver in 2015. So, in order for NASCAR drivers to appear in Cars 3, they changed Vitaling's number 61 to 24. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. First, we're going to start off with James Clean Air. Here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, no grill, just the headlight stickers with the number 61 on one of them, and the Vitaline logo on the hood with the white background and the both sides. We've got the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the the Vitaline logo and the number 61, and then several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, his sponsor, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Return and Clutch Aid, and then number 61 on top, no name signature, Vitaline on logo on the Vitaline logo on the trunk and the white on the back and on the spoiler. And on the back side, we've got the Vitaline logo on the on a green stripe and the, the taillight stickers with the number 61 on one of them. And up next, we've got Brick Yardley. Here we've got his happy facial expression, his black grill and headlights with the number 24 underneath and the Vitaline logo and a... the. And on both sides, we've got the red arrow at the bottom under indicating a pity to lift him up and the number 24 Vitaline logo and the gas cap and the green rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the few continued GC sponsors saying Pista Cup, Vitaline, his sponsor, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, Clutch Aid. And on the top, we've got the number 24 and his name signature, Brickyard Lee, and the Vitaline logo on the trunk. And on the back, we've got the tail lights and the the violin logo and a number 24 on the back bumper and we've got and here we have the the exhaust pipe which doesn't appear on the left side and lastly but definitely not leastly chase race lot here we've got his grumpy facial expression his black grill and headlights and the next gen vitaline logo on the hood now both sides we've got the Green rims on the black wall next-gen Lightyear tires and the exhaust pipes and the 
black arrow indicating a pity to lift them up and a number 24 and the two shades of green and several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cub, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy and the silver white gray letter V which is for Vitaline and the gas cap and the number 24 no name signature the Vitaline logo on the spoiler and on the back we've got the tail lights and the the rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie and the Vitaline logo and the number 24 underneath and that is it so here we've got the whole evolution of Team Vitaline Racers. So what do you guys think? Oh, I almost forgot to... Oh, almost forgot. And I'd also like to thank my 200 subscribers for your continued support for supporting this channel. So what do you guys think? Which Team Vitaline Racer is your favorite? Is it... James Clean Air, Brick Yardley, or Chase Race Slot. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!